Welcome to HNHN Daily. I'm Susanna Hopsalin, Senior Editor for Hospitals and Health Networks Magazine. IT insourcing is a small but growing trend. It's being considered a viable option when the business case and drivers make sense, according to a 2013 Deloitte report. When IT outsourcing did not fit its strategic vision, Kootenai Health decided to insource its technology and services to provide a long-term local IT solution for healthcare providers in the region. Today, I'm joined by Adina Schenkenberger, Knowledge Management Analyst at Kootenai Health in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, to discuss IT insourcing. Welcome, Adina. Thanks for joining us today. It's nice to be here. Your CEO made a statement that IT is not a cost center, but it's a strategy for the hospital. What did this set in motion in your organization? It began a whole chain of events that completely transformed our IT department, as well as the whole organization. Uh, We brought on a CIO, uh, increased our IT team by over 50 in in 10 months, added 50 new staff. Um, put in place a structure for IT that was proven and began offering our services to the community. Was it a challenge staffing up so quickly? It was, but I think it went a lot better than you would expect. Um, Being in a rural area, obviously one of the challenges is that there's a a low pool, a small pool of IT, Um, but our HR department worked with us and we were able to bring on some of the top IT team members in the area. Um, People also heard about the changes that were happening at Kootenai and just were drawn to it. You invested $5.9 million in IT in 2012. How did the first year go? We did really well in our first year, considering how much we had invested. It was offset by the capital savings and the operating savings as well because so many of our services were insourced and we had negotiated better contracts with those services that were still held by second and third parties. And I think that it's only going to continue. And are you seeing that in in your second year that you're still reaping some of the savings and benefits? Definitely. And there was increased revenue as well and we were able to offset in that first year all but 100k of those expenses. So where is that revenue coming from? Community clients and those in the area that are coming to us and asking us to to help them with their IT services and technologies. So when you bring a service back in-house, usually it's because there was dissatisfaction with your control, uh, with customer satisfaction, the cost factor. What processes have you put in place to make sure that you're keeping up the service levels and the quality? Well, our CIO came with um, 20 years of IT experience, including 10 years of executive outsourcing experience. So he had processes and the know-how to run an IT organization. The three most important processes that we've implemented would be change management controls, um, SRTs, which stands for Service Restoration Team, and DSR, the Daily Service Review, where all of the IT leadership gets together and does a huddle. We examine what's going on and what needs to change, big changes that are coming, anything that could impact the IT environment that day or in the coming days. How is your current strategy benefiting the broader community, and the patients that you serve. What are you able to do now that you weren't able to do before? One of the biggest changes for providers is that we now have an insourced help desk on site with 24-hour-a-day support that's available. They assist with uh, anything from password resets to more technical fixes by phone any time of the day, and providers in the main campus can even go into the help desk area and say, can you fix my laptop? Or And and the help desk is able to do it. Bringing them on really changed a lot. But the, the greater piece is that 
with our in-source technologies and services, we're uniting the healthcare providers in the region. With the demands for meaningful use and the changes in care delivery systems, how are the changes with bringing everything back in-house helping you to serve patients better? By providing consistent quality technology and services, we're really helping providers to do what they need to do, which is to provide patient care, to follow up on referrals, to improve workflow, and not just to adjust the technology to meet their workflow, but to optimize the workflow through technology. Thank you for joining us today. Thanks for having me.